We look to try and put in a good performance against an informed Hallam side as Wacker Hammond gets us underway. Manor Lakes with first use of the football. Looking to try and start positively and take it to this Hallam Ford pack that has been oh so damaging to start the campaign so far. Courts almost poked his nose out the other side. Picking up the post contact meters. Now Varana Beatty slips out of one. Sparrow putting it through the hands. Straightening and going through. Waka Brown, Rapana Edwards. Well, if you keep inviting the fox into the hen house, you're going to invite disappointment into your life. As Hammond bursts straight through. Well, he's I just mentioned he's been quiet. Injects himself into the contest. Straight, slices straight through the Manor Lakes defence. And after Manor Lakes finally got the, their hands on the football. Waka Hammond with a nice moment of class. Goes straight through the middle and puts it down under the post. Bad enough first receiver throws the dummy straight through. Tandy sets chase. Audacious flick pass. And Woods goes over. We'll grab the popcorn, sit back and enjoy because Hallam are putting on a show at Seabrook Reserve. Beatty kicks it long and it's a foot race. Charging Ford Hammond. Open air in front of him. He needs the bounce. He toes it ahead. He's in a foot race with Tandy. Tandy gets back. Hammond kicks it ahead. Looking to bring it down before the dead goal line. Stunning from Hallam. They go the length of the field. Wacker Hammond, he had to get creative. He towed it ahead. Tandy set chase. And he wins the race of the football. Hammond was hoping for the bounce. Just poked along. Off his knee. Towed it ahead once again as now Waitford. Breaks free with ease. Numbers on the inside and out. Tandy brushed away. Looking for a runner on the inside. Waitford, he started it and he finishes it. Two length of the field tries in the matter of seconds for Hallam. Get out the party poppers because the party has well and truly started right here at Seabrook Reserve. Wait for the try scorer. Hammond, shift, Woods, bring it through the hands, straighten. Runners to his left and to his right. They go out to that right-hand side. Tausili had to pick it up from around the boot laces. And off the kickoff, they score once again. Hallam sending a message. Shows the dummy brought down. Just shy of halfway. Two tackles used. Hammond, first receiver, straight through. Takes on Tandy and Breeze's pass with ease. And Hammond grabs a hat-trick. Make that 28 points for him. Talfahim up. Back a slow to release. Slow play the ball as a result. To Ricky. Ball put down. Scooped up. Watch out. Here we go. Puts the foot down. Tandy coming across. Gets away from the fullback. And Samaeli, he picked up the scraps and cashes in for a four-point of his own. Looking to put the icing on the cake, runs into his own player. Forced to retreat back towards the middle third of the field. Vaca now gets past one, hands it off. Vadana to a Ricky coming across in chase, fends away. And adds an exclamation mark on what has been a memorable Hallam performance in the Storm Cup. Varina hands it off to Hammond who grabs five. It's a gift. And what a performance from a side looking to go all the way in 2024. 84 points to nil. Hallam victors over Manor Lakes in round three of the Storm Cup. Of course, we have Mount Ridley taking on Vic Uni in a matter of minutes this game to follow this one here at Seabrook Reserve. So we'll take a short break and be back with the second game. Hallam proving too good for Manor Lakes in round three of the Storm Cup. <laughs> <laughs> 